<laughs> Streetsboro, Ohio. Big site. Check it out. Look how wide it is. Take the dogs for a walk. They're supposed to have a camp canine here. We're in the camp canine. The girls are enjoying it. If you're a campground owner, appreciate if you have a dog fenced in area. The car is definitely going to need a car wash. Check this out. Yeah. I think it's from the dirt roads in here. Apparently they haven't gotten rain in a while here. It's going to be a rainy day today. We're getting ready to pack up and leave out of Ohio. I had a little talk with Lisa this morning. I said, hey, let's swap our roles. You go outside, dump tanks, hook the car up. I'll do the inside stuff. Yeah, she just laughed. I don't know what she meant. <laughs> Well, we made it to Mayberry Campground, Mount Airy, North Carolina. Lisa's gonna walk the dogs before it starts raining again. We had rain this morning when we left, and we had a little clear spot in the middle. Now it's back to raining. So I gotta go out and get the card situated for the evening. Then we got some friends coming over tomorrow. I think we're gonna try to cook out. Hopefully the weather uh, you know, cooperates. One other thing, this campground, full hookups, two nights, 40 bucks. Passport America. Beautiful campground too. Get this disconnected. Saw a lot of friends on this trip too. Well, good morning. I'm gonna head into Mayberry today and check this place out. Home of Andy Griffith. Got the dogs loaded up. Tara's not doing good in the heat. It's supposed to be 90 something today. All right, check this out. Behind me is the house that Andy Griffith raised here when he was young. He grew up here. And you can get your lodging and reservations you can actually stay in the house. You can rent it and stay where Andy Griffith used to live as a, as a child. It's pretty cool. We're in the town of Mayberry. This is not where the Andy Griffith show was filmed. But this town, since Andy Griffith was from here, they kind of took on that persona of the town of Mayberry. And a lot of the stores and other things are modeled after the show. So it's pretty cool. So let's go check out some more stuff. All right, we're outside in front of Andy Griffith's Playhouse check this place out look at this statue that's over here it's got him and Opie which is the son if you haven't seen the show you probably should try to stream a few episodes from the 60s it's on air for eight years I think but there he is Andy Griffith and Opie and if you don't know but Opie's Ron Howard so if you don't know the, about the show you know pretty sure you'll know who Ron Howard is so and there's the little plaque from the TV land it's pretty cool so the town's kind of taken on you know some of the theme some of the stuff is themed for the show which is pretty neat we're gonna go see the I guess the police car is down out in front of uh, one of the places and we're gonna go check that there out but it's a pretty cool little town this is based on like a little hometown type of thing white picket fences if you notice the girls are in the car <laughs> it, it's only like 10 30 in the morning here and it's almost 90 degrees already very hot very different than when we were in ohio you want to go too don't you i know it's hot at least there's no static no static no static at all no all right check it out <laughs> we're in front of wally's service station which is supposed to be um gomer's little thing in the show so it's kind of just modeled after um after his little service station thing they got some old vehicles out here it's pretty cool old chevrolet truck pretty awesome they got the police car that you can go and take a ride in that takes you down through the downtown which we'll check out here in a minute but that's supposed to be like the tow truck which i don't think that thing's actually going to tow anything kind of just like a prop you know but pretty neat still pretty cool little town there goes the police car. 
you get a tour, I think it's 15 bucks. Okay, I just asked some people that were sitting here and they had just gotten back from taking a ride in the police car. They said it takes you down to the quarry and all through the town and stuff's pretty neat. It's 40 bucks, I was wrong on a 15, but it's 40 bucks for the whole car. So as many as you can pack in there. So I had to ask them since the car's so old, does it have air conditioning? And they said, yeah, all four windows down. <laughs> Seems a little hot today to be cruising around in a car with no air conditioning, but pretty cool though. You gotta check that out. And look at it, we got some more old cars and trucks here. Another tow truck. This one here looks like it can actually tow something. So, And it wasn't Gomer. I don't know why I kept calling it Gomer, but it's Goober. Wally's towing. They got another little section here that's supposed to resemble some of the stuff in the town. They got the Mayberry Hotel. The clerk, Fred's radio TV repair in the market. He had an old record player and radio. Pretty cool. And no town's complete without a cannon. Never know when you're going to need a cannon. Now we're going to go into the sheriff's office. All right, we're inside the jail. <laughs> Check it out. You can go inside. Three hots and a cot, right? <laughs> you got a seat and your own lamp. Your sink. You're missing a toilet. I don't know what you're supposed to do there, but they even give you a TV set. <laughs> Pretty neat. See, they kind of modeled this stuff, you know, from the show. It's pretty cool how they did that. Very proud of having Andy Griffith from this town. The town people were really behind him. You can see the, the two gel cells and the key hanging on the wall. So you can lock yourself up. <laughs> Check out this old typewriter. You got itself a typewriter and look at that old phone. Pretty cool. This is a pretty cool little town. I like it. I don't even know what that is. Does anybody know what that is? If you do, leave me a comment down in the comments and let me know because I don't know. I don't know exactly what that is. It's got some kind of wire. Looks like it goes up around a spool. Got the radio. Imagine that's another radio. That's a fan that doesn't meet any OSHA requirements. And then down here on the floor in front of the jail, they got the names of the characters. We have Floyd from the barbershop, Opie, which is Ron Howard, Andy Griffith, Barney, Otis, Aunt B. Goober, Ernest T, Delma Lou, Miss Crump, Emmett, and the Darlings. The actual name of the town is Mount Airy, North Carolina. It's real close to Winston-Salem. Pretty cool. If you're coming through this area, you got to stop. And like I said earlier, the campground we're staying at is actually called Mayberry Campground. Real nice campground. And the girls are still holding down the air-conditioned car. <laughs> it's a little warm here today. So, let's see them. I know, you want to walk around, don't you? It's just so hot, we gotta make a, a personal air conditioner for you. Like a little pack on your back. There's the other girl enjoying air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> that place was cool. They had um, some of the tow trucks and stuff. They had that, they had uh, the jail. You can go in the jail cell and take a picture of yourself inside the jail. They do the cop car that takes you around the town there. Okay, we got the Mount Airy downtown directory. You see where we're at? There we are. All right, we're gonna walk around down here and check out some of this stuff. I'm pretty sure that that's where Floyd's Barbershop is. Floyd's Barbershop. That's pretty cool. Gotta find out where the girls went. I think they had to go someplace to keep cool. They also have the typical tourist stuff that you normally see, like the fudge and taffy, stuff like that you see in the tourist areas. That place has triple X moonshine. <laughs> Tara said there's an air conditioning inside there. We're actually inside the store. The uh, gentleman came up and said, hey, you can bring the dogs in here. I'm like, all right. Tara likes it. What do you think, Tara? Otis Brew. Okay, walk very carefully and don't bump into anything. I think I'm gonna get a new hat from Mayberry. That'd be pretty cool. 
right down on Main Street. They just, they've got all these little shops. So what did you get, Lisa? We were so interested in going inside getting a flag, we didn't even realize that this thing was sitting out here. I think that's the same one from the tour. Check that out. Pretty cool. Blast from the past. What is this? Check this out. They got a Sasquatches. Giant giraffe. It's a pet spa. Park and Meow Company Pet Bakery and Pet Spa. Yeah, they don't want to go anywhere where they might be getting groomed. It's easy to get around down here in a downtown area. It's one way, so it's really easy to cross the street. You got down to the end of it, we're just turning around going on the other side of the street, looking at these shops, doing some more window shopping. It's nice to take a day sometimes just to relax. Dog's welcome in here. Apparently a lot of these shops too are dogs. Dogs are welcome, so you can bring your pets down here and go inside a lot of the stores. Pretty cool. And look at no tourist town is ever uh, complete unless it has a ghost tour. How's it feel to be in air conditioned? <laughs> Lisa's doing some shopping. That's the reason why we got a big camper. <laughs> Lisa's trying stuff on now. Can't really say anything. I just, I just bought a hat, so. <laughs> so now we're in the dog shop. The dogs are right at home here. Oh, there's the treat oh. bin. Okay. Your sniffer found it. Tara's checking out. See if she wants anything. Oh, there's lots of good sniffs in here, isn't there, Tara? All right, we got some good stuff here in the, the, the pet supply place. Check out all these treats. The girls are gonna be very happy. This was a good stop. Yeah, that's gonna be good, isn't it? It's gonna be so good. Anna. Oh my God, look at the slobber. Yeah, I like them. Want a star? Want a chocolate chip cookie? The girl in the pet store said that well-behaved dogs are allowed into almost every business here on Main Street, so that's pretty cool. So bring your dogs with you. It's a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice little area. So much for window shopping. We're at Barney's Cafe. I can tell you, places are getting a lot more business from us, allowing the dogs to come in. You can see all the Andy Griffith memorabilia. Hey Lisa, I don't remember seeing a, such a dog friendly community before. And apparently they have a couple of those cop cars that give you the tours, because here comes another one. And this time the guy was blasting the siren, so let's see if he does it again. Sure hope that thing's got air conditioning, but those people said already that took the ride in it, they said it doesn't. He's gotta put down four windows. We're inside another store. They said, yeah, bring the dogs on in. They're more than welcome. So thank you to all the businesses down here in downtown Mount Airy, or downtown Mayberry, as it's also known. Appreciate you letting us bring our dogs in. So not all places are pet friendly and we appreciate that you guys are. <laughs> we had a pretty good time in downtown Mayberry Mount Airy, North Carolina. What happened? I thought we were just going to window shop. <laughs> they let dogs in the store. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> so, I had a great time. We're heading back to the camper now. It is hot here. It's in the low 90s. It's going to be the high 90s today. We're waiting on some friends to come for dinner and check out the new camp out situation here. We got the stove, which we had. It's got many miles on it. Potatoes are made, but we got these new tables today so we're looking and we're gonna make a review on them i want to see how easy they clean up after we cook on them a few times but we're just waiting on our friends to come it's gonna be corey and crystal from overland wanderlust another youtube channel we got another friend that came over mr duck <laughs> mrs. Duck. is it mrs duck 
Lisa corrected me. That's a Mrs. Duck. So our company's come. Check it out. We have Corey and Crystal Hi. from Overland Wanderlust. So we're going to go ahead and have some dinner. Doing a little cookout. So it's going to be pretty cool. So see you guys on the next video. Look forward to uh, making these videos. So if you can hit the bell icon, it'd be great. Appreciate it. All right, we'll see you later. This is a really nice campground. If you get a chance to stop, stop here. It's really nice. I'll have a link down in the description to a referral thing for My Passport America. If you click on that, I don't know if you get a discount or not, but they give me like a kickback of 10 bucks or five bucks or something. I'd appreciate it. So we'll see you guys in the next episode. Appreciate it. Hit the little bell icon. You'll be notified when we make another video. All right, see you then. Thanks.